when your business can run without you, you have a business that people would actually want to buy. So you're adding value to your business all along as you're setting it up for a four-week vacation. You work hard in your business. On the Profit by Design podcast, we ask the big question. What has your business done for you lately? Hi, I'm Dr. Sabrina Starling. I'm the business psychologist, the author of the Four Week Vacation and the How to Hire the Best series, as well as the founder of Tap the Potential, where we coach entrepreneurs like you to design sustainably profitable businesses that give you more time for what matters most and more money in your bank account than ever. Because after all, we believe work supports life, not the other way around. Weekly on the Profit by Design podcast, we bring you tips, tools, and strategies from our own experiences and from the experiences of our guests who are entrepreneurial thought leaders and real life entrepreneurs, all to support you in making intentionally profitable and sustainable business decisions to live the lifestyle you desire. You know, life is really short. And I was reminded of this just recently when a friend and a colleague was sharing with me that a client of hers that she'd been working with for years to improve the business had passed away suddenly and the business was not where it needed to be. And because of that, employees are now without a paycheck and a spouse is left behind scrambling, trying to pick up the pieces in this business. And this makes me very sad on multiple levels. It doesn't need to be that way. You absolutely can get your business into a place where it can run without you and it can do so for extended periods of time and and really be independent of you, the owner. And anytime we as business owners don't do that, when we choose to just stay in the day-to-day, we are really saying, you know what? I'm content to let my employees and family members be at risk for something happening to me and then really having to struggle afterwards. So it makes me sad in that way, but it also makes me sad from the perspective of this business owner who had been working very hard in the business for many years and really never got to enjoy the rewards of all that hard work because he kept saying someday, someday I will get my business where I want it to be and I'll retire. And then my wife and I will go do these things. And that someday is not going to come. And the other conversation that I had recently that also made me aware that life is really short is I was talking with a fellow entrepreneur at a conference and he said, you know, I read this book really recently. And, and they talked about how you only have 18 summers with your kids. And he was talking about the family board meeting book and which is a a really good book. I highly recommend it. And the reality is, yes, we only have 18 summers with our kids and that's if they're newborns. (laughs) And most of us don't have kids who are newborns. I have a nine-year-old and a 16-year-old, and I am acutely aware that I only have a certain number of summers left with my 16-year-old. I've got two summers left with my nine-year-old. If I'm lucky, I have seven summers left. And we need to be enjoying this time. Those of us who have kids, we need to be enjoying this time with our kids and not just grinding it out in our businesses, thinking that someday we're going to make our business so wonderful and so profitable and they'll benefit in that way. I had a child of a business owner say to the business owner, dad, you keep telling me you're doing this so that we're going to have a better life someday. And she said, I'm 10 and I don't think someday's coming. And he shared that with me like that from the mouth of a child to a fellow entrepreneur, that is shocking. But our kids are really aware of that, that when they see us working so hard in our businesses. And so today I'm just going to talk with you bluntly about why I'm so passionate about the four week vacation. And I really want to help you if you're hearing this message and you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, yes, I need to get my act together because I want to enjoy my family. I want to enjoy my kids. I want to enjoy my life while I have it. And it's not all about the business, then I want to support you in jumpstarting your way to a four-week vacation because you absolutely can do this. If you have a business that has steady lead generation and conversion, 
You can have your business ready for a four week vacation in 12 to 18 months time. It's absolutely possible. And I know a lot of you have heard about the four week vacation and you're thinking, well, I just need to do some four week vacation tests and gear up and and then I can take a four week vacation. Well, I want to share with you, there's a little more to it than that. And I've been studying entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, and what they do differently versus entrepreneurs who are burning out and who can't take time away from their businesses and who have these businesses that stay dependent on them. And in my research now, we've got over 400 entrepreneurs who've taken our Better Business, Better Life assessment. We've analyzed the data on 234, and nine out of 10 entrepreneurs are burning out. One out of 10 is not. One out of 10 is succeeding and having a good quality of life and building a profitable business. And what I've been really curious about is what are those business owners doing differently than the ones who are burning out? And so I think that's important for you to know if you're hearing this wake up call of, you know what, life is short. I'm ready to jumpstart my four week vacation. I think you want to know what works to get you there. And it's beyond vacation testing your business. And so and in case you haven't heard about vacation testing your business, that is where you take longer and longer periods of time away from your business to help your business build up its muscle to be able to run without you. And then whatever falls through the cracks while you're out, you put systems in place to deal with those things so that, and then the next time you take a little bit longer vacation away from your business where you fully unplug from it. And that is a key piece to getting your business ready for a four week vacation. But what I want you to hear loud and clear is there's a lot more involved in this. So first off in the research, we're finding out that the business owners who are succeeding with a good quality of life, they're able to be away from their business and their businesses are profitable. They are willing to invest six to 10 or more hours a week working on the business to make it better. That may not surprise you. If you want your business to be better, you have to work on it. You have to do those $10,000 an hour activities that I'm always talking to you about. But the key difference between entrepreneurs who burn out, because those who burn out are also willing to invest six to 10 or more hours a week working on their business. But the key difference between those who burn out And those who don't, who go on to have a good quality of life and grow their business is that they are willing to invest in themselves and their teams. And so that investment in themselves means they're willing to invest in coaching and training, leadership development, learning how to lead a business and not work in the business, not how to run the business because that's managing, but learning how to lead the business and learning how to grow leaders in their team. And if we're honest, most of us who come into small business success are really good at the thing we do, but we're not really good at leading. (laughs) That's not part of our natural skill set. And so that's a big piece of what we teach at Tap the Potential in our Better Business, Better Life program, which is all about getting your business to the point of taking a four-week vacation. A key component of that is learning how to lead and learning how to inspire others and really tap the potential of the others on your team and growing those leaders and getting them to lead and inspire others in the business. So it's that ability to pass down the leadership at multiple levels in the business. That's a key piece. The other key difference is that those entrepreneurs who are succeeding with a good quality of life and a profitable business are doing something else very differently. They have almost double the number of systems in place in their business as those who are burning out, (laughs) almost double. And so I was at a conference four or five years ago and I heard a keynote speaker say, if you leave here and you commit to putting one system in place in your business per week, Over the next year, in 52 weeks, you will have 52 more systems that you in your business than you have now. And that blew my mind. I was like, wow, he's right. That's such a simple commitment. 52 systems. I'm going to do that. And I left. And you know what? I got in my business and I started putting those systems in place. And I quickly, because I like to focus on the $10,000 an hour activities, the tasks and the systems in our business, that are going to have the greatest impact. I quickly got very curious about what systems specifically should I be putting in my business that will get me where I really want to be and have that business that is self-sustainable. 
And what I've found in my research is there are key systems that you want to put in place. And that is what we have built the Tap the Potential solution around. Now, in the upcoming Better Business, Better Life Jumpstart, I will be teaching you in depth the Tap the Potential solution. So if you're hearing all this and you're thinking, yes, I want to get systems in place. And Dr. Sabrina's right. I need to know which systems are going to have the greatest impact because I don't have a lot of time to be messing around putting a lot of systems in place in my business or starting work on one system and then get pulled off, pulled off from that and go over here and work on another system because you know nothing really comes of that. There's no focused effort there. So if you're hearing all that and you think, I want to know exactly which systems, well, sign up for our free Better Business, Better Life Jumpstart. This is a five-day workshop. We meet for an hour every day over the course of five days with me and the Tap the Potential team, and we will be walking you through the steps of the Tap the Potential solution, where we show you the key systems to put in place in your business that have the greatest impact. I'll give you a clue, okay? So first, you need to design your business to be sustainably profitable. You want to put a profit-first system in place in your business because every decision needs to flow around profitability in your business. Does this what thing that I'm about to do improve our chances for being profitable or does it take away from our profitability? That affects the systems you put in place. That affects the clients and customers you take on. It affects the, the team members that you bring on or the team members that you don't keep in the business because all of those pertain to profitability. The next key system that really differentiates business owners who are succeeding with a high quality of life and a profitable business from those who are burning out is having a clearly defined sweet spot, knowing who the best clients and customers are for the business and only bringing those in and turning away other clients who could become a distraction or who could drain the profit from the business. That is such a key, that piece, I see it time and time again in business owners who have a clear sweet spot versus those who don't. When you don't have a clear sweet spot, you and your team are stretched very thin because you're trying to accommodate a lot of different people's needs. And you have a lot of clients and customers who are not happy with what you're doing because your team is stretched really thin. You're stretched really thin. So you have a lot more complaints coming in. You have a poor reputation and word of mouth starts to get out there. So it becomes harder and harder for you to attract business. So you have to work harder and harder at your marketing, which costs more and more money. And so reversing that trend and really getting that clear sweet spot does a lot to improve your quality of life and the quality of life of your team members and simplifies. And that simplification is really important because the systems that you want to put in place in the business need to support the sweet spot, the delivery of services to the sweet spot. And th when the time is freed up and your mental energy is freed up, you are then able to innovate. And this is where really the rubber meets the road because you're able to innovate and you're able to look at who are your top clients? What do they need the most? How can you best serve them? What strengths do you and your team have where you could create a lot of value for them and position yourself as very unique in the marketplace because you have that sweet spot and because you're innovating around that sweet spot. So that's another key system is your system for how you innovate. And then <laughs> probably most important of all is knowing how to hire a player so that you can build your lean and mighty team. And it's not just about bringing a players onto the team. It's about bringing the right a players onto your team. And that's what I teach in my book, how to hire the best and also in our how to hire the best course at taps of potential. And this works really well when you have that clearly defined sweet spot, because then you're only hiring a players to serve the sweet spot. A lot of business owners who don't have a clearly defined sweet spot are out there hiring because they're really busy. They feel like they have a capacity issue and you're bringing on people to serve clients and customers who are not making a profitable contribution to the revenue. They may be adding revenue, but they could be costing you a lot more to serve them. So they could actually be eating away at your profit. And then when you hire team members, because you think we're so busy, we've got to take care of these people. You hire team members. Now you have expanded your payroll. Payroll is one of the biggest expenses in a business. You really need your payroll to be lean and mighty. <laughs> you need to be making investments in your A players and getting them focused because A players can be 900 to 1200% more productive than warm bodies. So I am teaching you the ins and outs of this. 
during our Better Business, Better Life Jumpstart that's coming up. So if you want to get registered and you want to hear me guide you through this in more depth, head on over to tapthepotential.com forward slash jumpstart. The reason we call it a jumpstart, <laughs> there's a couple of reasons. Number one, if you're ready to get your business on the path for a four-week vacation and get your life back, you want to be in the jumpstart because this is where you really, we, we show you, we jumpstart you on your path to a four-week vacation. You also want to have accountability around you. You want to have the people around you who know that you're committing to taking a four-week vacation, who know your time frame for doing it, who hold you accountable for taking all these small steps forward, one system a week that you're going to put in place and improve in your business over the next year or year and a half. Because really, that's what's possible for you is you can be in a place to take a four-week vacation in the next year to 18 months if you are consistently taking action and putting the right systems in place following the tap to potential solution. And so the reason the jumpstart is so powerful, a lot of people go through it and then they decide, I want to come into Tap the Potential's Better Business, Better Life program because I want that ongoing accountability. I'm committed to myself and my family. I want to have a life. And so when people come into our Better Business, Better Life program, small business owners, one of the biggest challenges you have is you have all kinds of things competing for your attention and it's easy to get pulled off track. Well, we have strong accountability where we keep you moving forward. We keep you focus. We pull you back in from week to week. And that's one of our secrets for success. The other reason though, the jumpstart is so beneficial is because you're coming in, you're getting a high level overview of what you're going to be working on with us in the better business, better life program. And I think one of the most fun things about what we do in the better business, better life program is you have a lot of fun in your life along the way. So if you're working weekends, you're working long hours, you're tied to your phone, and you feel like there's no separation from your business, I think you're really going to love our Better Business, Better Life program. Because within just a couple months time, we get you taking weekends off. <laughs> you're going home at five or six each evening. You're unplugging, putting your phone down. You're learning how to be present with yourself. You're learning how to be present with your family. And you start doing those vacation tests. And so in our, we have multiple tiers in our Better Business, Better Life program. Everyone starts at tier one because we want to check and make sure you have all the foundational pieces in place. If you have all those foundational pieces in place and they're strong, we're going to quickly move you into tier two because we like to move you fast. We want to get you to that four-week vacation. We don't want you to take five years to get to taking a four-week vacation. A lot of people who make the pledge on their own <laughs> never get to the four-week vacation or they kind of halfway get there. And what I mean by halfway get there is, yeah, they take four weeks off, but they have to check in periodically or they have to have their phone with them. They can't be fully unplugged. And where we're moving you to is getting you to that place where you're fully unplugged. And so if this is you, if you want to have this experience where your business can run without you, because by the way, when your business can run without you, you have a business that people would actually want to buy. So you're adding value to your business all along as you're setting it up for a four-week vacation. And I want to tell you, I am passionately committed to disrupting hustle culture in entrepreneurship. I built Tap the Potential over the last 17 years by working a 25-hour work week most weeks. There were times when my kids went off to school and I thought, oh, now I can work 40 hours. And it was a disaster because what I figured out in working 40 hours is I became a lot less focused and a lot less intentional. And so one of the cool things about the Better Business, Better Life program is we have people who not only are setting their business up so they can take four-week vacations, they're also looking at going to a 25-hour work week or a 30-hour work week. So they have evenings or full days off, like all Friday off to enjoy life. And that's really what this is all about is creating a business that is strong and profitable so that you can enjoy your life along the way. And so as you come into the Better Business, Better Life program, we start looking at what does your business need so that you can have more time off. And it's usually hiring A players, so how to hire the best and putting systems in place strategically that allow you to get your business to where it's profitable. So if a four-week vacation sounds good to you, if you want a profitable business and you want to be able to enjoy life along the way, come to our Better Business, Better Life Jumpstart 
try us out, experience what this is like, and then consider joining our Better Business, Better Life program. But regardless, if you are ready to commit to taking a four-week vacation, show up, come to the jump start. let me know. Say, Dr. Sabrina, I'm here. I'm making the four-week vacation pledge. I want to take my four-week vacation by X dates. I am looking for 150 entrepreneurs who want to have taken a four-week vacation in the next two years. That is crucial to me. I want to support you and make sure that you succeed. So if you want to be one of those entrepreneurs that says, I want to take a four-week vacation, send me an email, say, Dr. Sabrina, I'm taking a four-week vacation. I'm making the pledge. Here are the dates. And here's why this matters to me. So send me that email at sabrina at tapthepotential.com. And then the next thing you should do is sign up for our free jump start so that you start jumpstarting your way to that four-week vacation, head on over to tapthepotential.com forward slash jumpstart. I'll see you there. Thank you for spending time with me today. Join me in our Tap the Potential Mighty Networks community at tapthepotential.com forward slash group. Share your aha moments from today's episode, ask me questions, and join in on the fun with your fellow entrepreneurs on the journey to designing sustainably profitable businesses that give you more time for what matters most and more money in your bank account than ever. Isn't it time you take your life back? And finally, share today's episode with a friend if you know a friend who would enjoy it. This is real life business. Keep your chin up. Keep moving forward. You got this.